Putin will do everything he can to disrupt it because he doesn't want it. He go, went to this agreement only because Ukraine successfully destroyed part of his Black Sea fleet. That's now it's uh, in reality he's not capable to keep this blockade yeah. against any warships. And also because Ukraine liberated Snake Island and because of UK missiles, harpoons, and just ship yeah. missiles, which are now, you know, near Odessa. Tell me uh, what it's like on the ground in Odessa at the moment after that strike yesterday. Certainly people are concerned and that was a very big attack, one of the biggest uh, from the beginning of the war and the biggest on the port. Uh, there were four missiles caliber, which is the most powerful and precise Russian missiles. Two of them were intercepted by Ukrainian air defense to hit uh, the port and there was a fire, there are wounded. So uh, that is the situation. Definitely people are concerned. And uh, in general, uh, like Putin showed again to the whole world that she is not going to respect any agreements, anything. And he doesn't understand any language except of language of force. Uh, that, that's what happened. Mm. How hopeful are you of this agreement being honoured overall? If we take a step back and look at what's been achieved, uh, do you think that grain will be able to make its way out of those Black Sea ports like Odessa? Do you still think it's going to happen? What I am sure, absolutely, that Ukraine is going to do everything we can to do it and we will respect the agreement and we will do everything. We came on some compromises in our security even because we opened corridors to our um, you know, ports and to Odessa uh, for, for this to make it real. Uh, but we, because we just it's for sake of humanity, because uh, we can't see like millions of people are starving. Putin is killing thousands of people in Ukraine by missiles uh, and shelling, but uh, in uh, the world by this artificial famine, he can kill millions of people. Because 400 million people throughout the planet are dependent from the calories from Ukrainian crops. Also, it's influencing prices, food prices throughout the whole planet. And today, your listeners will go to pop and fish and chips. Uh, they are made on Ukrainian sunflower oil, which is now much more expensive mm -hmm. because of what's going on. And uh, beer is made from Ukrainian barley, uh, which is now much more expensive. And so that is uh, why Ukraine is ready to do our job. What will be next? It's hard to predict. But uh, from the first moment, uh, at the moment of signing of agreement, I commented it and said that Putin will do everything he can to disrupt it because he doesn't want it. He go, went on this agreement only because Ukraine successfully destroyed part of his Black Sea fleet. That's now it's uh, in reality, he's not capable to keep this blockade yeah. against any warships. And also because Ukraine liberated Snake Island and because of UK missiles, harpoons, and just ship yeah. missiles, which are now, you know, near Odessa, thanks to you. Alexei, I'm uh, keen to just get an image of what's happening uh, on the ground in Odessa, for example. Uh, are there still Russian military guarding certain checkpoints? We know that there's an issue of mines within the sea, but what are some of the logistical issues of trying to get grain out of the port of Odessa? What are we uh, facing here? There are no Russian military in Ukrainian territorial waters. We've, we, we, we cleaned it from them completely. Uh, the idea of agreement is that there will be two checkpoints, one in Bosphorus, uh, which will check, there will work Turkish uh, and Russians and United Nations, checking the ships that they are not taking weaponry to Odessa. And the second in Odessa, where will work Ukrainians and Turkish and United Nations, where they will check that only grain uh, uh, is uh, put on the ships. So we will never accept any Russian militarians on our territory, it's clear.